Good morning, and thank you for inviting me to talk about the home energy rebates, funding opportunities that are being offered by SECO, the State Energy Conservation Office of Texas. While I'd like to introduce folks to the funding opportunity, my objective is to answer the question, how can grassroots organizers best coordinate with SECO to get this financing into our communities? My name is Peter Bella, and I worked for years as director of the Natural Resources Department in the Alamo Area Council of Governments located in San Antonio. I retired in 2014 and have been working in science literacy, air pollution, and especially climate change ever since. The Home Energy Rebates Program is funded by the Inflation Reduction Act, which was signed into federal law in September 2022. I'd like to briefly describe the three sections of the IRA, which enable the SECO funding for residential buildings in Texas. The Homes section, as Section 50121 is called, provides rebates to homeowners to save whole house energy use. That is, think of the house as an envelope. Under the home section, we can improve insulation, the HVAC system, house rewiring, and other rebates that improve the energy performance of the whole building. The here section, that is section 50122, provides rebates for switching from natural gas to electric heat pumps, stoves, and other appliances inside the home. It can also provide rebates for upgrades in electrical appliances, which are simply more efficient. The third section for residential building funding under the IRA provides contractor training grants to each of the states. As we'll see, this section provides the critical interface between the state of Texas and the recipients of the funding, which will benefit our communities. For the NGOs, which hope to see benefits in the na their neighborhoods, this is key. The next column describes the funding levels for each of the three sections on a national level. So for example, $4.3 billion has been provided to support the homes section. The Department of Energy or DOE is responsible for issuing the home energy rebate program. All three sections are formula grants which means the amount of money and the recipient for the money is written directly into the legislation. In other words, there is no competition for funding, funding, nor is there negotiation on the amounts. The funding under these sections must be expended by fiscal year 2031. The formula grant funding expressly states that the rebates amounts may vary from state to state within the final state program and that the state energy offices will be responsible for implementing the home energy program statewide. Here's a look at the program as presented by the State Energy Conservation Office of Texas, or SECO. You can see that the HOMES program targets a reduction in whole home energy through improvements in insulation, HVAC equipment, that is, heating, ventilation, air conditioning equipment, etc. And it is, it is because it's a whole house energy savings section, consumers may receive an energy assessment audit to better understand the home's energy use and how improvements can reduce energy consumption. On the right side, the here section spotlights a few of the appliances, such as a stove, cooktop, or clothes dryer, which may be eligible for rebates. Note that the heat pump is like a window unit that cools a room or part of a home. This is distinct from the entire HVAC system, which is like a central air conditioning system designed to cool the entire building. Between the two sections, you can see that the whole house and everything inside, which can be more energy efficient, is treated. The state of Texas will be offering approximately $346 million in the homes section. Notice these rebates are for upgrades predicted to save at least 20% of the entire home's energy use. 
Note also the strong emphasis on funds for lower income multifamily units and for funds allocated to disadvantaged communities. The state of Texas will be offering approximately 344 million under the here section. Again, you can see that energy savings of at least 20% are required for efficiency upgrades. And you can see again, the allocation to disadvantaged communities. The definition of a disadvantaged community is one that is marginalized by underinvestment and overburdened by pollution. This map, the Climate and Economic Justice Screening Tool, highlights overburdened and underserved communities by census tract. Rewiring America provides an excellent calculator for incentives that allow you to estimate just how much you could save on electric appliance upgrades under the here section. As an illustration, I entered my zip code 78213. And while I do have a household income greater than zero, I just put that in to the calculator for an example. When you hit the view results button, the screen clears to allow you to select a project. By tapping on the down arrow in the field labeled Select Project, you can see the wide range of rebates available. I would definitely advise to everyone to explore this project set, which, as you can see, spans quite a range of energy saving opportunities for your home. Again, for the purpose of illustrating how this works, I'll choose the Heating, Ventilation, and Cooling project set. Given the household information I started with, I'm eligible for both tax credits and home energy rebates in three areas. Let's look at each in turn. 30% of the cost of geothermal heating installation is available as a federal tax credit. This is a relatively expensive project that provides excellent return on long-term investment, but is not available under the CEQA program. Let's look at the next opportunity. $2,000 off an air-sourced heat pump. Well, that's still a tax credit, which is not within the CEQA program. Discount off a heat pump with funding provided by the Federal Home Electrification and Appliance Rebates, or HERE. Now we're talking, since here is under the CEQA program. The text states, the federal guidelines allow for a discount of up to $8,000. However, rebates will be implemented differently in each state. So this upfront discount is not yet available, and that's what our discussion today is all about. I would again offer that folks explore this calculator. As you may have noticed, there are many funding streams and programs responsible for the support shown in this calculator. If you work for an NGO interested in supporting your community with such information, it's definitely worth the time you could take to become familiar with the range of opportunities. Stepping back into the contractor training section, which the state will provide to independent contractors, you can see from this list that there are many ideas that SECO has to consider. SECO is asking potential state contractors who will be the ones to roll the program out in Texas communities to suggest how they treat these challenges. I'll focus on just one element, the consumer and contractor training, with an example of someone now doing the work of getting heat pumps into the Southside communities of San Antonio. Debbie Ponce works for the NGO Public Citizen in San Antonio. She was born in the Quintana neighborhood, is doing an excellent, excellent job of promoting energy efficiency appliances, and is now focusing on getting heat pumps into homes on the south side. She is using funding provided by the city of San Antonio and the city's municipal utility, CPS Energy. She is working through a program in the city called Casa Verde. You can see that Casa Verde focuses on energy efficiency, and there is some overlap with the SECO Home Energy Rebates Program. 
The similarities include that homeowners and renters receive benefits on an income qualified basis and that the homes themselves must meet program guidelines. The state of Texas has told DOE that they do intend to apply for funding for the Home Energy Rebates Program. The application by the state to DOE is due January 31st, 2025. It'll be sometime next summer for the program, before the program will be launched. One of the key elements for the application to DOE is the state implementation blueprint. The blueprint will describe in detail how the state intends to administer the DOE home energy rebate program funding. Notice the first two requirements here are for a community benefits plan and an education and outreach strategy. The state is asking our input on how the blueprint should be written and how the contractor who will be awarded the blueprint design work must address these issues. Here's an email dated October 1st, 2024, in which I invited Eddie Trevino to join us on October 10th for our weekly IIJA IRA round table. As you can see, I invited him to provide a brief description of the state's intentions for this program and then allow for a question and answers session. The homes and here programs are described on the state's website. The state has published this RFI or request for information for home energy rebate community input. That's us. Responses are due to this RFI on October 18th at 2 p.m. I'm interested in having the conversation on October 10th with NGOs and promotores to ask SECO questions now before they hire the contractor who will write the state implementation blueprint. So there will be fewer difficulties for us to work with the state next summer when the program is established. 